Before a court case, lawyer Jennifer Walters breaks the fourth wall and tells the viewers about an incident a few months earlier where she and her cousin Bruce Banner were in a car crash after an encounter with a Sakaran spacecraft. While attempting to get Bruce to safety, Jen was cross-contaminated with his blood, causing her to transform into a Hulk. Bruce took Jen to a secret laboratory in Mexico, where he trained her to control her new powers. She was able to effortlessly handle his training regimen, but she rejected the idea of becoming a superhero full-time. Bruce tried to stop her from leaving, and the two fought until Bruce reluctantly accepted Jen's wish to return to her legal career. Back in court, Jen is interrupted by superpowered influencer Titania, who violently bursts through a wall while fleeing from her own trial. Jen transforms, defeats Titania, and returns to normal to make her closing argument. Jen gains public notoriety after defeating Titania and is dubbed She-Hulk. However, the case is declared a mistrial after the defense successfully argued that her fight with Titania influenced the jury, and she is fired from the district attorney's office. Unable to find other work, Jen is offered a position by opposing counsel Goodman, Lieber, Kurtzberg, and Holloway, also known as G, L, K, and H, and impulsively accepts, bringing along her best friend Nikki Ramos as her paralegal. On Jen's first day, G, L, K, and H partner Holden Holloway informs her that he wants her to head up the firm's new superhuman law division and work as She-Hulk full-time. Her first case is to represent Emil Blonsky at his parole hearing. Though initially reluctant due to Blonsky's past attempt to kill Bruce, Jen gets Bruce's approval and accepts the case as he departs inside a Sakaran spacecraft. Jen soon learns that Blonsky apparently escaped from prison and participated in an underground fight club. Jen confronts Blonsky, who explains that he was removed from his cell by the Sorcerer Supreme Wong, and that he returned to prison willingly afterwards. While she attempts to contact Wong, News of her appointment as Blonsky's lawyer stirs up public controversy. Wong meets with Jen and agrees to testify at Blonsky's parole hearing, during which Blonsky demonstrates his ability to remain in control as the abomination. Blonsky is released on parole, but forbidden from transforming again. Meanwhile, Jen's former colleague, Dennis Bukowski, approaches the Superhuman Law Division for a case involving his ex-girlfriend, Runa, a shape-shifting light elf from New Asgard, who defrauded him by impersonating Megan the Stallion. The case is assigned to Jen's co-worker Augustus Pug Pugliese, and Jen helps Pug win the case. After participating in a televised interview, Jen is attacked by the Wrecking Crew, a four-man criminal group who are armed with stolen Asgardian construction tools and were hired by an anonymous client to steal a sample of her blood but Jen is able to overpower them. Donnie Blaze, a magician at Mystic Castle who was expelled for camartage for misusing his powers, sends an audience member named Madison King to another dimension, where she makes a deal with a demon before being transported to Wong's home in camartage. Wong approaches Jen and asks for her help in making an example of Blaze so that people like him will not be able to misuse the mystic arts. So they file a suit against Blaze and Mystic Castle's owner, Cornelius P. Willows. Meanwhile, Jen creates a profile on a dating app in the hopes of expanding her social life, but has little success until she changes it into a profile for She-Hulk. Blaze accidentally unleashes a swarm of demons at one of his shows, but Wong and Jen send them back before threatening Blaze and Willows into complying with the cease and desist order. The next day, Jen learns that Titania has been freed and is filing a lawsuit against her, having trademarked the name She-Hulk. Titania has trademarked the name She-Hulk for a new line of beauty products, which angers Jen. Holloway warns Jen that she needs to deal with the situation quickly and assigns Mallory Book as her attorney for the case. Nikki and Pug come up with a plan to acquire a superhero outfit for Jen from Luke Jacobson a highly exclusive tailor who provides clandestine services for heroes, while Book and Chen countersue Titania, claiming that she is illegally exploiting She-Hulk's fame for profit. Chen is annoyed to discover that Todd Phelps, 
one of her unsuccessful dates, is also a client at her firm. But this helps her realize that she can use her dating app history to establish a past record of her identifying as She-Hulk before Titania tried to gain the trademark. Using her past date's testimonies, Jen wins the case and establishes a tentative friendship with Book. Jen later acquires her new customized outfits from Jacobson. Jen is invited to be a bridesmaid at her old friend Lulu's wedding. When she arrives, however, she is disappointed to find that Lulu wants her to present as herself, not She-Hulk, and saddles her with numerous pre-wedding duties. Titania is also present as she is dating one of Lulu's groomsmen. Jen bonds with Josh Miller, a friend of the groom, but Titania attacks her. Following a brief fight, Titania breaks down and storms off. Meanwhile, Book and Nikki work on a divorce case for a superhuman called Mr. Immortal, who has repeatedly faked his death to get out of several marriages. Compounding the problem, eight of his previous spouses all file suits against him upon learning his secret via an online video displaying his powers leaked by a website called Intelligentsia. After resolving the case, Book and Nikki discover several death threats directed at She-Hulk on Intelligentsia's message board, which is maintained by an individual known as Hulk King. Elsewhere, scientists working for Hulk King spy on Jen and plan another attempt to steal a blood sample from her. Jen goes on several dates with Josh, but he disappears and seemingly ghosts her after they sleep together. While anticipating a text from him, she receives a call from Blonsky's parole officer, who informs her that the inhibitor that stops Blonsky from turning into abomination is broken, and that he wants her to accompany him to Blonsky's spiritual retreat to check on him. When the officer leaves, Manbull and El Aguila accidentally destroy her car, forcing her to stay there until it can be towed away. Despite the retreat lacking internet and cell phone coverage, Jen continues to nervously await a response from Josh. She attends a group therapy session with Blonsky, Manbull, El Aguila, Porcupine, Saracen, and one of the men from the Wrecking Crew, where she is convinced to delete Josh's contact information and let go of her feelings towards him. It is revealed that three days earlier, Josh secretly cloned Jen's phone and stole a sample of her blood on behalf of Hulk King after sleeping with her. Jen takes on a new case, representing Eugene Patilio, also known as Leapfrog, who wishes to sue Jacobson for giving him a faulty supersuit. Jacobson is represented by Matt Murdock in court, and wins the case due to Patilio inadvertently revealing that he disobeyed Jacobson's instructions for using the suit. Afterwards, Patilio contacts Jen asking for help against an unknown assailant. Jen arrives and battles the assailant, who she discovers to be Matt Murdock as his superhero persona, Daredevil. Murdock reveals to Jen that Patilio kidnapped Jacobson, and the two work together to rescue Jacobson before they sleep together. The next day, Jen attends the Southern California Law Awards Gala, where she accepts a Female Lawyer of the Year award but the gala is interrupted by an Intelligentsia broadcast, which smears Jen's reputation by displaying footage of her in bed with Josh. Briefly losing control, Jen goes on a rampage, destroying the gala stage and attempting to capture a nearby Intelligentsia member, only to be apprehended by the Department of Damage Control, also known as the DODC. Jen is released from DODC custody but is forced to wear an inhibitor to prevent her from transforming, and loses her job at GLK and H because of this. Nikki and Pug infiltrate an Intelligentsia event, where they learn that Todd is Hulk King, and Blonsky as the Abomination is serving as a motivational speaker. Jen arrives at the event and confronts Todd, who injects himself with her blood and transforms into a Hulk. After Titania and Bruce unexpectedly appear in the ensuing fight, a confused Jen destroys her inhibitor and breaks the fourth wall once again, using the Disney Plus menus to leave her show and confront the show's writers in Marvel Studios Assembled, a Disney Plus series that gives a behind-the-scenes look at the series and movies of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She meets with Kevin, an artificial intelligence that claims to be in charge of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's storyline decisions, and persuades it to rewrite the finale. 
to which it reluctantly agrees. Returning to her show, she finds Todd and Blonsky have been arrested. While celebrating with her family and Murdoch, Bruce returns from Sakaar with his son Scar. After regaining her job and being cleared of all charges, Jen vows to continue her work as a lawyer and a superhero. In a mid-credits scene, Wong breaks Blonsky out of prison and takes him to Kamartage.